you and Tommy certainly make a fine-looking pair of elephants. Would you like to play too, Grandma? I mean, after you come back from the store. Why, yes. Oh, but what could I do? Well, then, you can be the lady who feeds us peanuts. <laughs> present. Nothing's a lot for my dad. He's worth 85 cents. My dad's worth all the money in the world. So's mine. My dad's been giving me money to run errands all week, and he doesn't know he's been helping me to buy him that new fishing rod. Boy, will he be surprised. Yeah, and I bet the fish will be surprised, too. <laughs> How much does a fishing rod cost, Dennis? I don't know, but I heard Mr. Wilson say to Mrs. Wilson, they're having the sale of fishing rods down at Finch's drugstore starting today. And he said they're dirt cheap. Come on. I want to buy him that trout fishing rod that he was talking about getting. The Angler's Pal. Oh, yes, he was in last week looking at it. How much is it, Mr. Finch? Oh, now, let me see. The price is uh, an even 35. Boy, you'll have enough left over to buy us a couple ice cream sodas. Don't you think you'd better get your dad a less expensive present, Dennis? I gotta buy him what he wants. My dad's helped me pay for it. Well, you're absolutely right, Dennis. You're a fine... You're a fine boy, Dennis. <laughs> I said it. And... I'm not sorry. Well, could you please wrap it up like a gift in colored paper? Oh, no, no, Dennis. I wrapped a gift package for you last week, and I'm still in a state of shock over the shambles. But jeepers, Mr. Finch, this is for my good old dad. And he just loves to open pretty gift wraps, especially the kind you make, Mr. Finch. All right, Dennis, but just this once. Boy, this is going to be some surprise. Now, this paper is very nice. It sure is, Mr. Finch. But that paper up there is even nicer. Gold paper. Real gold. <laughs> Dennis, this paper is very handsome. <laughs> This is the best gift wrap we have in the whole store. It's for my good old dad, Mr. Finch. I want your father to have a hilarious time, even though I don't. <laughs> paper, Dennis. Could you wrap it in this one instead, Mr. Finch? This one has fishes on it. <laughs> there, there, and there. Here's your gift, Dennis. Gee, thanks, Mr. Finch. And here's your money. Thirty-seven cents. Thirty-seven cents? I guess you didn't know I knew there's two cents tax, huh, Mr. Finch? That costs thirty-five dollars. Thirty-five dollars. Have you got thirty-five dollars, Dennis? He's got eighty-five cents. 
And we were gonna have ice cream sodas with the change. Ice cream sodas? With the change yet? <laughs> Mr. Finch, I didn't know you meant dollars. Mr. Wilson said they're dirt cheap. Give me the rod, Dennis. <laughs> what are you gonna do now, Dennis? I gotta think how I'm gonna earn enough money to buy that fishing rod for good old Dad. You know, there's nothing like an ice cream soda to make you think. <laughs> Here's a letter from Alice, Henry. Oh, thank you, Mother. <clears throat> oh, she says her father's improving, but it'll be several weeks before she can leave him. Well, I hope she'll stay just as long as necessary. I miss all of you very much. <laughs> Especially Dennis. She says the quiet here is almost more than I can bear. <laughs> What's that? An heirloom I had sent from home. I thought you might like it. Oh, let's see it. What is it? This is the very coat worn by your great-grandfather, Josiah Mitchell, the one on the Confederate side. <laughs> it looks like he fought the whole war by himself. <laughs> is that camphor? Oh, Henry, you should be proud to own something that belonged to a hero like your great-grandfather. A hero? <laughs> Dad always said that great-grandpa Mitchell was caught playing poker on guard duty by General Lee himself. And all off to the who oh, That's gossip. Merely gossip. Hello, Dad. Hello, Grandma. Dad, I gotta earn some money fast on account of its secret. How much will you give me to tidy up my room? Well, I just came from your room, and it's very tidy. Well, I can fix that. Uh, uh, Dennis, <laughs> your grandmother just tidied up your room, and I want to see that you keep it that way, young man. Jeepers, isn't that beautiful? There, you see. Dennis, this coat was worn by your great-great-grandfather, Corporal Josiah Mitchell, in the Civil War. He fought under General Robert E. Lee, a very famous general. You mean my great-great-grandpa was friends with a real general? Mm -hmm. Well, sure, they even exchanged cards. <laughs> Grandma, could I have this coat for my very own? Dennis, for Pete's sake, what'll you do with that old coat? I want to wear it. It belonged to a real hero. My own great-great-grandpa who fought in the Serial War. <laughs> well, I'm glad somebody around here has family pride. Yes, Dennis, you may wear it. Boy, wait till I show this to Mr. Wilson. The way that smells of moth flakes, if you walk into the Wilson house, he's liable to hang you up in the closet. Oh, nonsense, Henry. Now, Dennis, you wait here and I'll stitch up the sleeve. Oh, and this cap goes with it. I'll stuff it with paper so it'll fit. Gee, thanks, Grandma. <laughs> when I walk into Mr. Wilson's house wearing this, won't he be surprised? <laughs> Stunned is the word. <laughs> You know, Martha, I'll just bet Jerry Richmond hasn't another customer in town with an American coin collection as complete as mine. Well, George, you're not going to buy any more coins. Why, certainly, my dear. Richmond just phoned me that he has an 1885 dime from the San Francisco Mint and in perfect condition. And as long as he was going to be in the neighborhood, he... Oh, that must be he now. <laughs> Hello, Jerry. Hi, Mr. Wilson. Great. God, it must be Halloween. I just can't guess why I came over here, Mr. Wilson. No, I can't. And Sherlock Holmes couldn't either. I want to buy my dad a trout fishing rod for a surprise present, but it costs an awful lot. But you're my friend, Mr. Wilson, and I know you'll give me some jobs so I can earn some money. Oh. Well, Dennis, whatever are you doing in that ridiculous getup? This is the uniform that belonged to my great-great-grandpa, who was a real hero. And he was a friend of General Lee, who was a real general. <laughs> well, if they dressed like that, their friendship couldn't have lasted very long. <laughs> George, you can see the boy is proud of that uniform, and rightly so. I sure am, Mrs. Wilson. Dad says these are moth holes, but I bet most of them are bullet holes. 
Yes. Well, if they are, you're descended from a sieve. George. All right, Dennis. Uh, you better run along home now. I'm expecting a visitor. Now, George, let's help the boy. What kind of a chore can I find for you, dear? Phew, camper. Oh, Martha, don't worry about moth-proofing my clothes. Just hang Dennis up in the closet. <laughs> Mr. Wilson, how about letting me shine your coins with silver polish? Dennis, don't you touch those coins. This is a rare and very valuable collection. Why, these coins are worth more than $2,500. They are, Mr. Wilson? Why, well, uh, yes. Now, for instance, you take this, this 50 cent piece right here. Why, this particular coin is worth more than $650. It's Carson City Mint. You mean they're worth a lot because they're mint flavor? <laughs> yes. A mint's the place where money is made. Then why are they worth so much, Mr. Wilson? Well, one reason is because they made so very few of these coins in the first place. Boy, I bet if they knew how valuable they were going to be today, they would have made a lot more of them then, huh, Mr. Wilson? Well, uh, oh, all right, Dennis, you can go. Yes, Mr. Wilson. Hey, Mrs. Wilson, how about letting me earn some money for my dad's surprise present by bathing Fremont? Fremont is not interested in surprising your father, Dennis. The answer is no. George, Fremont needs a bath, and it's a messy job. <laughs> With Dennis doing it, it'll be more than messy. It'll be catastrophic. <laughs> Maybe I should say dogastrophic. Uh, <laughs> that's rather good, isn't it, Martha? Very good, dear. All right, Dennis, you can wash Fremont. Gee, thanks, Mrs. Wilson. Hello, Fremont. <laughs> Cheapers, what's the matter with good old Fremont, Mrs. Wilson? Well, I guess if you're going to wash him, you better take your coat off. The smell of camphor is rather strong. Rather strong? No moth in his right mind would even fly near Dennis without first making out his will. <laughs> Well, dear, if you're going to wash him, I'm afraid you're going to have to go home and take off all your clothes and even take a bath yourself. Gosh, Mrs. Wilson, how much are you going to pay me for Fremont? Twenty-five cents. And i got to take a bath first? Jeepers, Mrs. Wilson, it isn't worth it. But for fifty cents, you've got a deal. <laughs> well, this is a special occasion. All right, Dennis, it's a deal. Gee, thanks, Mrs. Wilson. I'll be right back. Oh, great Scott. $2,500 worth of coins treated like pennies from a piggy bank. I hope you pick them up, Mr. Wilson. Dennis, go home. <laughs> or better yet, go to Cape Canaveral. They're just wasting their time there with rockets. <laughs> Boy, I'll never earn enough money to buy that fishing rod for Dad. Jeepers! Fifty dollars! Jeepers! I know you gave me the coat, Grandma, but how about this? Is this mine, too? Yes, Dennis. That goes with the coat. I've never seen one of these before. Thanks! <laughs> I wonder what the old boy was doing with a $50 Confederate bill up his sleeve. Probably saving it to help some other poor soldier in need. <laughs> if what they say about him is true, he was probably saving it to bet on who'd win the Battle of Gettysburg. Oh, Henry. <laughs> Here's your change, Mrs. Myers, and your gift wrap paper. Thank you, Mr. Finch. Hello, Mr. Finch. Can you guess why I'm here? Yes, it's a punishment of some kind. <laughs> now, you two boys have got to get out of here. This is a place of business. But I'm here for business. Dennis is rich. 
My grandma gave me $50, and I want to buy that fishing rod for Dad. Now, look, Dennis. I... She did? <laughs> well, you've got a good grandma, Dennis. I sure have. I've got the best grandma in the whole world. I've got the best grandma in the whole world. I've got the best grandma in the whole world who gives you $50. Well, here's the rod, Dennis. Now, you know just how to wrap it, Mr. Finch. I should. It cost me 10 years of my life to learn how. I'll have it wrapped for you in a jiffy. There, there, and there it is, Dennis. Thanks, Mr. Finch. And here's your money. Mr. Finch, are you sick or something? Yes, I'm sick and everything. This is Confederate money. It's not worth a red cent, a blue cent, a pink cent, or a purple cent. Now, here, go. Get out of here. Guess you're licked, huh, Dennis? No, I'm not. There you are, Jerry. Only $250 in these two quarters for that 1885 dime? Oh, you've done it again. It's been a real bargain, George. <laughs> well, I'm a hard man to deal with, Jerry. <laughs> I'll go write you out a check for this and put this dime in the safe. <laughs> oh, you little beauty. <laughs> Mitchell. Where's Mr. Wilson? He'll be back in a moment. I'm Mr. Richmond, a friend of Mr. Wilson. Isn't it awful? My great-great-grandpa was a hero, and he was a friend of General Lee, and he made the bull run, and all he had was this worthless old money. Boy, I bet he had trouble when he went into a store to buy jelly beans. 1861. Jefferson Davis. No serial number. Uh, where did you get this? In his old coat. My boy, I'm going to help you. Uh, suppose I were to give you a dollar for this. It, mm, no, five dollars for this. But Mr. Finch said it isn't worth a blue cent. It is to me. It brings back memories. Uh, you see, I used to be a Confederate soldier. You were? And any friend of General Lee's is a friend of mine. <laughs> Here, Dennis. Five dollars? Gee, thanks. Did you know my great-great-grandpa, Corporal Josiah Mitchell? Intimately. Now, you run along, Dennis. Uh, see Mr. Wilson later. I have some business to discuss with him alone. Sure, Mr. Richmond. This coat was worn by my great-great-grandpa. Uh, recognize it the moment you came in. <laughs> Goodbye, Dennis. Thanks, Mr. Richmond. You're a real friend. <laughs> No serial number. Great Scott, Jerry, where did you get that? Oh, I, uh, I have my little sauce. <laughs> no, why, why didn't you show it to me before? I, I didn't know you were interested in rare Confederate bills. Oh, well, yes, certainly. What's your price? And it's too much. Well, it's worth uh, $600 in mint condition, but seeing it's a little crumpled, uh, $500. Four hundred. Well, I'll make you a check right now. But don't you tell Martha. She's likely to secede. I got my cap. Oh, hi, Mr. Wilson. Mr. Richmond's almost as good a friend of mine as you are, Mr. Wilson. He gave me this five dollars for that worthless Confederate bill that Grandma gave me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Child. 
child's imagination. <laughs> Mr. Richmond used to be a Confederate, and he was a friend of General Lee, just like my great-great-grandpa. Dennis. I know. Go home. No, 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 no. Wait, Dennis. Camper. <laughs> Gerald Richmond, I'm flabbergasted that you take advantage of Dennis's ignorance. I'm full of ignorance, huh, Mr. Wilson? Why, Dennis, five dollars for this bill. Heck, Mr. Wilson, I didn't mean to cheat him. Dennis, will you be quiet, please? Well, if you don't want the bill, I know someone else who does. Richmond, if you don't give that bill back to Dennis, I'll tell everybody I know you won't have a customer in this whole country. You're going to be stuffy about it. <laughs> and close the door as you leave. <laughs> oh, I never. Cheapers. I'll never be able to buy that fishing rod for good old Dad. Oh, yes, you will, Dennis. Yes, you will. How much is that rod? Thirty-five whole dollars. Well... That Confederate bill's worth a lot more than Mr. Richmond gave you. Suppose I give you uh, $35 for the bill. $35? Jeepers, thanks, Mr. Wilson. And you weren't even a Confederate. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's really worth more than $35. Uh, should we say uh, $100? Jeepers, Mr. Wilson, you're the best friend in the world. Two hundred dollars? Three hundred dollars? Dennis, I'm going to give you what this is really worth to a collector. Four hundred dollars. you, I'd wait a couple of years and collect my social security. <laughs> now, I'm going to write out a check for the money for you to give to your father so he can put it in a bank account for you. Would you give him all except $35, Mr. Wilson? I want to buy him that surprise fishing rod. And I want you to come down to Mr. Finch's store when I buy it. Because jeepers, Mr. Wilson, you're wonderful. Finch. It's true. It's really true. It sure is, Mr. Finch. I'm told the rod Dennis wants is worth $35. Now, here are two twenties. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he, he tried to give me a $50 Confederate bill. Well, you should have taken it. It's worth $400. But they lost. <laughs> that apparently is just a rumor. <laughs> the rod, Dennis. I haven't unwrapped it yet. Thanks, Mr. Finch. And would you please give me my change in Confederate money? <laughs> <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure most of you have read about the little boy who discovered a rare Confederate bill worth $400 in the sleeve of his great-great-grandfather's coat. And here is that boy, Dennis Mitchell, and leading citizen and coin collector George Wilson, who purchased the bill from Dennis. Dennis, will you show us exactly how you discovered that rare bill? Sure. I just put on my great-great-grandpa's coat like it. <laughs> Sheepers are something up this sleeve. Why, it's the ace of spades. <laughs> and here are two more. And they're aces of spades, too. <laughs> And up his sleeve yet. <laughs> Great grandfather Josiah, the pride of the Mitchells. <laughs>
This has been a Screen Gems film production from the Hollywood studios of Columbia Pictures.